Hello everyone. So you're in the anomaly tapping yourself, hoping it's people who give you free stuff. That might be a quicker way. Do you see that Eliminate Hazardous Fauna mission? You could utilise that to get a Traveller's Grave. Well, if you follow me, you could go to the Interstellar Terminus. Do a little bit of Portal Roulette. In other words, going to people's bases to see what's on offer. As you can see, I landed in this base. Not much here except for Storm Crystals. Collect them for a good bit of cash. But more importantly, go to the space station. Pick up a few missions that aren't specific to the system, i.e. kill predators, things like that. If you got a bit of cash, buy a little bit of chlorine, but lots of oxygen, I'll come to that later. Look, pick up whatever you can find lying around, but look for travellers. You're doing this for the graves. If you've already got all the uh, glyphs, jump to the end. But back in Anomaly, remember to pick up the medium refiner, you'll need that. A little bit more of base roulette, visit other people's bases. My little farm, might be interesting. You might have to visit a lot of bases, but remember you're doing this for the graves, not so much the bases. Of course you don't have to warp anywhere, because you're jumping from the anomaly. And yes, I was quite lucky with this one, activated indium, but there's lots of other kind of farms you can utilise. Okay, back to the anomaly, and to my home base. Yes, I'm standing in front of my large refiner, but a medium refiner is all you need. To demonstrate, 100 chlorine and a stack of oxygen. It takes 1 chlorine and 2 oxygen to make a stack of 6. But it's an infinite chlorine, all you need is the oxygen, and keep going and going until we get bored. But at the end of that, I got 10 million units. Let's head to the space station. If you don't want to crash the economy, don't sell it at a universal terminal. Sell it to the ship guys, it won't crash the economy, you can keep selling it at the same space station. Remember until you got all the glyphs, go and see those travellers. Unless you completed the storyline, then you've already got them, jump to the end. Ok, I'm going to sell my stack of chlorine to this guy. And how you're going to make real money, here's a base for you. There's a location on the planet, now as I go nab the activated indium, remember to turn multiplayer off, don't want someone else nicking what you're here to get. A nice stack of 166 million units. Remember you'll need a lot of storage space, but you can come back whenever you want. And there's the portal code. So in PS4, but I think all bases are now cross-platform, so you all could utilise it. But I've also got another couple of bases for you, they're both in Euclid, in normal mode, PS4. Of course, there's the portal code, with a convenient pause. This one was sent to me from Chad over at the Interstellar Index. Thanks Chad, there's the combo, let's fly there. The planet location, if needed. It's four stacks for 102 million. Right, let's snap some, have a little view of the base. Base number three, the portal code with a convenient pause. Again, Euclid, normal, PS4, it really should be in all platforms now, but you can't tell with this game. Got your thing Chad again. To fly to base, there's the location on the planet. Another 4 stacks, this time 109 million units. So if you hit all 3 bases, it should be close to, if not more than, a billion units. Think that's enough units for the whole of the game? If not, you can always come back. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.